Many Christians have the expectation that once they are saved, life will be blissful and filled with joy all the time. This is obviously the wrong expectation to have. It's simply not realistic. So instead, I encourage you to expect some challenges in life, but expect to overcome through the power in the blood of Jesus. Expect to face a Goliath or two, but also expect the might and power of the Holy Spirit to see you through. Expect to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But people of God, you should also expect that the Good Shepherd will be looking out for you. His rod and staff will be right there to provide you with comfort. Expect adversity. Expect the lion's den. Expect the Red Sea. But expect Jesus Christ to deliver you out of each and every situation. In God's word, we are told that we will have to endure trials, experience some pain, and encounter some disappointments. It's not what we like to hear, but think of it this way. If God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, one who was pure, holy, and blameless, only to then watch him carry all of the sins of this world and be crucified, is that not a painful experience? With everything that Jesus went through, the persecution, the physical pain and torture. Who are we to then say to God, why did you send me this disappointment in my life? Why did you let this event happen that made me feel some pain? We need to get things in the right perspective. We are following Christ. We are following his example. And we should be confident that despite everything he went through, in the end, he wins. Now, 2 Timothy 2, verse 3 says, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Now, sometimes when Christians experience trials and distress, there can be a tendency to despair. For some, they even fall into depression. Some of the Bible greats like David, Abraham, Moses, all suffered some level of disappointment and deep despair. And for the Christian man or woman listening today, I want you to know that although you are not immune to disappointments, there is a way to gain victory over mental anguish and emotional despair. Now, while I could give something like five easy steps to a healthy emotional state during tough times, let me instead tell you that there is only a single step that needs to be taken. And that step is trusting in Jesus Christ relying on Jesus Christ and coming to a place where you say, Lord, my life is in your hands and you truly mean it. Of course, one may now ask, how do I do that? And it's a good question. The answer starts with knowing what the Bible teaches. It's through the word of God and it's through prayer in those dark times that the Lord ministers to us and breaks through any dark clouds of any depression or anxiety we face. One thing that might help give some perspective is to know and truly believe that God is sovereign. The Lord is truly in control. And because of that, we can have the assurance that for those who belong to him, he will work all things for their good and his glory. So here's my words of encouragement to you. God's promises are our source of strength. Should you find yourself in difficulty, stand on God's promises. If you're being afflicted, persecuted, or rejected by this world, there is a promise in the word of God for you. A promise that God will deliver you. A promise that tells you, you are blessed and you will inherit the kingdom of God. I want to encourage you to depend on God. Depend on a God who has given us wonderful promises in the Bible. Promises that should lift us up when life tries to push us down. Promises that should bring peace to our hearts, even if our external environment is tumultuous. God's promises are what you and I should depend on because God is a faithful God. He's a God who keeps his word because he is truth. God's plan 
for your life is what will prevail. Now, it's not easy for us to accept that at times because God's plan requires us to trust him. It requires us to walk blindly, so to speak, in this natural world. But at the same time, walk with 2020 vision through the eyes of faith. Jonah ran away from God's plan, and he ended up in the belly of a fish. Noah followed God's plan, and he was saved. Lot's wife deviated from God's plan, and she was turned into a pillar of salt. Joseph trusted in God and in his plans, and he became the ruler of Egypt. Samson decided not to follow God's instruction, and he lost his supernatural strength. Joshua stuck to God's plan, and the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. You see where I'm going with this? God's plan will always work out for good. But when you deviate from his plan, when you reject his plan, then you leave yourself open. You leave yourself open to the attacks of the enemy. In Exodus 14, verse 14, the Bible says, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. This is a promise for us, a promise of safety. God will fight your battles. He will fight our battles, and we need to only hold our peace. And so there is no need to go back and forth trying to fight here and there and everywhere. Instead, let God work on your behalf. Because we have a promise that the battle you face belongs to the Lord. The Bible in Philippians 4 verse 19 says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. This is a promise for provision. If you have a need, God can meet that need. This doesn't mean you will have everything you want, but in Jesus Christ, you will have everything that you can ever need. So I encourage you to get to know God's promises. Get to know them and hold on to his promises. 